hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always tuning in in today's tutorial i'll be making a id requested video so i posted this picture in my community tab a few weeks ago and i got some comments that i should make a tutorial video on this gown i know this video is coming late but it is better late than never so if this interests you please like this video please comment on this video subscribe to my youtube channel and also share with your friend and let's get started with the tutorial welcome guys so we'll be starting with a pattern paper that has the bust the under bust and the waist line so this is just like the normal pattern you will cut for your bustier I said you want to draft a bustier or you want to draft a corset because this tutorial is a mix of a bustier and a corset so now i'll be measuring my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two so whatever i have there i'll mark it and i'll take it upward just like that so whatever i have i'll measure so if my if your nipple to nipple measurement is seven inches that means you will measure three and have like the way i've done and the line will get to your bust measurement then from your bust area you go down by one inches so at this area i will take in half inch at both sides just to make a normal dart just like a normal dart so i'll take in half inch then whatsoever i have i'll just take it down i'm transferring what i have there down just like that then i will connect the other parts up like that so there are one inch that part we went down by one inch so i'll just connect so just follow what i'm doing you will understand so that is the that we need for our pattern then the next thing i'll be doing is to go to my bust area the bust line there then i'll go up by one inches i'll go up by one inches or even just use the arm o line if you don't want yours to go down so just go up by using the ammo line then i'll just measure half inch then i will just roll it down so this part is just the way we draft our pattern if you want to make a corset so that's just what i'm doing then the next thing i will do now is to connect the points just like this way i'm doing i'll connect it just like this i'll connect it to this part here not to the beginning of the line just like half inch below or even one inch below so that's just what i will do then this one too i'll connect but before i connect let me just measure my bust and other measurements along this line before i draw that curve so i'll take my bust measurements and my sewing allowance at the arm area and also at the bust area i will do the same then i'll go to my waist area and take my waist measurement that is your waist measurement divided by four and your sewing allowance before your sewing allowance you add whatever that you took out there so you add it back so my sewing allowance is one and a half plus that that which is one inches so all together that's two and a half then whatsoever you have you connect it just connect it like that so and this is what i have after connecting it then i'm just trying to redraw my arm o just to make it look okay then this part here i'll just make a curve using my french curve so i'll connect this part to my arm hole area so that's just what i will do right here so i'll make sure i connect it to my arm hole area just something around here just to connect to the arm hole area just as if you are making a corset so that's just what i'm doing here so the next thing to do is to measure the neckline So the neckline i'll be using is four inches but before i go ahead to do that let me do my shoulder slope so which is one inches by three so that's why i'm extending the line to that part then the next thing to do now is to measure the the neckline that is from that four you know i've measured it before so that's the four over there so from that part i'll measure down to this part over here you know i didn't draw this line to meet the other line there i don't know if you understand so i'll measure down there yeah somewhere around there 
so now i noticed that what i have there is quite small so i just try and extend this up to just meet the armhole measurement because i need to have like one inch at that area that will open up kind of so this is what i have after doing that so the next thing to do is just to cut this out then i'll slash and spread it to get the effect around that bust area so that's just what i will do so i'm trying to explain again that i measured half inch over there that line there is half inch just like the way you are measuring in a corset that's just what i did then you connect this part to the armhole area because you are cutting it together you are not making a a cup or whatsoever that's just the difference between this and a corset so this is what i have then i will cut it out so i'm cutting it out now So let me remove this mod that I have here because I don't need it. So after cutting it out, I will leave this. I will still come back to it because I still need to show you how to slash and spread this part. So let's just cut our back bodies right now. So this is my back bodies. I've already measured. I've done my arm all and measure my the arm all length and the length of the of the back bodies. And I've went ahead to draw my ammo. So the next thing I'll be doing now is to measure my bust and add my sewing allowance. Measure my waist at this lower part. My waist measurement. Note that your bust and your waist is always divided by four. Then you add your dart and sewing allowance. In case you want to make it a corset, you can go ahead and do that. But for me, I made it a zip. I use a zipper for the back. I just use a zipper. I didn't use a corset but if you want to make a corset you know how to go uh, about that by reducing by not adding allowance and by reducing it so at this area i went up by one inches because i want to draw my back yoke so i always go up by one inches from the armhole area then the next thing i will do is to do my shoulder slope at this area So now let me do my shoulder slope i'll just go down by one inch the regular way of doing our shoulder slope so that's just what i'm doing so now for the neckline you know we use four for the front so we are using the same then i will measure one and a half inches over here so i'll connect it i'm connecting like this just, just to have a small neckline and for this back it has an opening it has like an opening like a yoke the yoke has an opening kind of it has a key old design at the back so that's what i'm trying to remember it has a key old design at the back so that's what what i'm doing depending on how wide you want your key old to be you just do that based on your preference or your client's preference so that is the yoke area and that is lower part area so the next thing i'll be doing is to measure my my dart since i will not be cutting out this dart so i'll measure my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two plus half inch then i'll go up by five and a half or five i'm just trying to rule a straight line over here then just half inch as both sides half inch on the other side so this is just my dart so this is the dart for the back so this is all about the back so as i said earlier if you want to make it a corset you can just go ahead and do that you know by that you reduce that part where there is zipper allowance so you won't add zipper allowance then you reduce it so this is what the back bodies looks like this is the back yoke and the back the main back bodies so this is the front bodies and i went ahead to join this part together now i didn't overlap anything i just place it close to each other and use a tape to hold this i'm sorry that i've went ahead to draw this part because i thought i was filming and when i checked the camera it was not recording so what i just did was to just cut this line so i just made the point randomly at this curvy round area then i connected it up here up to this area so as you can see it did not get to the shoulder part but it was very close to the shoulder so what i will do next now is to place it on a new pattern paper so this is a new pattern paper i will 
place it down on it i'm just trying to cut that area so that it can widen up so i'll place it on it then i'll pin it then i'll redraft a new pattern for this area so that's just what i'll go ahead and do now so if you are watching up to this extent and you have not subscribed to my channel you have not liked my video you have not commented on this video please do that now it really goes a long way thank you So after pinning it down this is what it looks like then from this area over here just go out by like half inch then i'll just draw this curve parts just half inch half inch all around like this just half inch you know it is not straight it's not a full cycle i don't know if you understand this part it's not really like a full cycle like that that you can get a perfect shape but just go ahead and try your best so this area is the neckline area so i'll just leave it because i'll be folding my pattern you will understand as i go ahead in this video so just follow my step to understand this process so this is what i have then the next thing i'll do is to go ahead and cut this So after cutting you go ahead and remove your pin so this is the new pattern paper that we got and that area is where we just make a gathers on and it will fit in into that part so that is what will give it the cup effect so that's just what we will do so i will show you how to cut this because you know i like i said earlier I made this dress some times ago it's not like i'm making it now i'm just trying to explain to you how it is being made so i made it some times ago so let's assume this is your fabric and you want to cut out this this area of the pattern you know this is folded so you place your fabric like this and you place, place your pattern paper in this way in such a way that the folding will be at this neckline area the folding of your fabric will be at this neckline area and your fabric will be folded into two other area so if you want to cut this part it will be folded as you know that this pattern too you know it has to be two that is your right cup and your left cup that is this pattern you'll be cutting two each that is one each will be folded into two that is for one it is folded that is the fabric will be doubled if you understand that way so the fabric will be doubled and that's how you will cut for that and you will sew so if you really want a sewing tutorial you can just let me know maybe i'll just try and make the upper part alone i'll try and make the upper part alone for this dress so that you can understand better maybe i will try if i get enough comments to make me do that i'll do that so these are the patterns and this is the end of the video so i will show you how it look after sewing for the first dress that i made this is what it looks like as you can see this area the extra one inch at the middle part i don't know if you can see that so that is how it looks and as you can see the gathers around the cup area so that is what will give it the cup effect so you don't even have to wear you don't even have to make a cup for this so that is what will give it the cup area that is what will give the cup area some volume that is it to accommodate your your bust that gathers so this is what it looks like so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.